I can now officially say that I've held an Oscar on this stage. Congratulations. Oscar's not so white now. I win. The seemingly impossible task of sound editors is to immerse the viewer in a world they and we have likely never heard firsthand. This year's nominees have vividly brought to life First World War trenches, the Manson Ranch in the city of Gotham, the Le Mans racetrack, and even a galaxy far, far away. And yet so close. <laughs> Here are the nominees for achievement in sound editing. Ford versus Ferrari, Donald Sylvester. Joker, Alan Robert Murray. 1917, Oliver Tarney and Rachel Tate. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Wiley Staten. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, Matthew Wood and David Acord. And the Oscar goes to Ford versus Ferrari. Sylvester. Ford versus Ferrari is a, is a marriage of sound and picture. So while I really want to thank my fantastic sound team, I also want to include the picture team and the mixers. In fact, Ford, yeah, Ford versus Ferrari is probably the last film ever made by 20th Century Fox. So I want to thank I want to thank Aaron Downing and Ted Galliano and Emma Watts. But the real support comes from home, so I want to thank my wonderful wife of 34 years, who gave up her editing career for me to pursue my career. But she raised our kids and she did a great job because neither one of them are politicians. <laughs> but the real reason I'm standing here is of James Mangold. He is the reason I'm here. He should have been nominated for best director. So if I could, I'd break this statue off, give him the head so you could put it in the jar, Jim. Thank you, Academy.